In tech news, Apple has responded to continued frustration with its iPhone Maps application, announcing plans to realign the Earth's geography to more accurately reflect the map software. Company executives say they've already started renaming streets, switching the locations of buildings and destroying some landmarks altogether to be consistent with the heavily criticized Apple Map feature. CEO Tim Cook maintains that Apple's innovation marches forward. Quote, Apple is committed to providing the best user experience possible, which is why we are working to dismantle the Brooklyn Bridge and put London in Canada. He he went on to assure customers that, quote, public transit directions won't be necessary in the new world, as there will be no public transit. While work is underway covering sections of Tokyo with a large green square and constructing buildings you can drive through to get to your destination, some consumers say these steps aren't enough. I was frustrated when they released the software, but I figured it was all part of Apple's long-range plan to revamp the arrangement of the Earth and all its physical laws. And I just can't believe it's taken them so long to move Baltimore to the middle of the ocean where my iPhone says it is. Apple says that the free upgrade will be available by Christmas time and will be mandatory for all iPhone users. While Google has already announced they have the resources to construct a rival Earth that will be just as you remember it.